Good day everyone. Yesterday I was flying my Joy Trainer Mini but I updated it with an FPV camera and also long range receiver from FR Sky. I'm using the R9M, yeah that's right, R9M uh, module, external RF module for the long range setup. And I'm using this receiver, the R9, which is really nice. It has eight channels, more than enough for this airplane. Here are the antennas. This is the antenna for the video transmitter and this is the FTV camera. But I also use another camera on top to record in HD. Um, I'm using the Omway goggles. These are my old goggles, but they work just fine. I just need better quality antennas maybe and a better quality video transmitter. Uh, I need to figure out what, what's the best brand to buy and you know to test that, but that's for a future video and future setups. I was just testing this and the main thing that prevented me to fly further was the video quality. So when it was around 500 meters or something like that, the video was starting to drop out. Maybe uh, that's because of the position of the antenna or the quality of the antenna. So that's something that I have to figure out later but the, the reception of the transmitter was okay and everything else. So I'm gonna show you the video of the flights and I'm gonna narrate over it so you can see how it went. So once again, I'm quickly showing you here the setup that I have and this is just before the first flight. The long range receiver and both antennas, the video transmitter antenna and the FPV camera which is the one that is going to show me the actual video to my goggles. And that one on top is an HD camera that is going to record the flight in HD. So you can see this nice high quality image during the flight. You'll be also able to hear the sound of the flight. Uh, I won't be able to do that during the flight because I need to use some kind of headphones. That's a built-in microphone in the video transmitter. During the launch, I just climb for a few meters and I try to have the airplane stable and above the trees at a safe distance so I can then switch to the goggles and start flying FPV. As you can see, the image that I get to the goggles is not very clean, it's very noisy, and that's something to expect from a very quick connection that I did in around an hour at home with a lot of wires around. So there is a lot of noise that is going to get into the video. And that's a problem when you get very far away because then that interference starts to mess the signal and you lose the video. So it's very important to have everything tidy and also use some noise filtering. Another important thing to notice is that the speed of the wind is higher above the trees because there's nothing stopping it. And that's why it's a little bit more turbulent above and you have to be aware of it and maybe avoid flying in windy days. So in this flight I'm trying to have fun, explore the capabilities of this airplane for exploring with FPV and also see what I can do, how, how close can I get to the trees without crashing and things like that. And maybe I think this airplane is a little bit overweight with the extra cameras that I'm using there but I'm not sure if that's a real problem but I found that it's not as stable when it's windy, so it's not perfect for flying FPV. Maybe if I put the wings straight and not with a little dihedral to make it stable, uh, I can um, overcome that problem. But I know that almost every aircraft of this size and weight will suffer of the same shakiness when, when flying, unless I'm using some flight controller or something to smooth the flight.
Now I want you to look at this part where I was going behind some trees but I wasn't flying far away, I was actually very close and I was getting this interference. So that's very dangerous because I can lose sight and then I don't know where the plane it's pointing to and you know it's very dangerous so that's why I need a uh, better quality equipment for the video transmission and I'm pretty sure that that can be solved with the DJI uh, video system but it's really fun to fly above the trees like this and maybe in the future I will be flying through some obstacles and things like that the good thing about the long-range airplanes against the long-range drones or multi-rotors is that these airplanes are more efficient flying and they can fly for longer distances and longer time than a multi-rotor drone since they only use one motor or one engine and they spend less battery or less energy to stay aloft. And here I'm coming in for a landing and I'm going to swap the battery and then I'm going to do my second flight. And the second flight didn't go as planned and you'll see what happened in a second. So here we go with the second launch. So I throttle up 100% and then throw it and then start to climb and circle until I get to a decent altitude. Then I put my goggles and suddenly you can hear that something goes wrong. But from where I am, I cannot hear that. And I crash. So this is something that I noticed after I watch the video and I hear that problem and I can hear that something is going on with the motor or the ESC. It's most likely the ESC that was overheated or something went wrong, I don't know what. The weird thing is that nothing burned and the ESC was working perfectly after I got my airplane back. So next time I'm going to use another better quality ESC or calibrate it or figure out what happened. So fortunately I could recover the airplane but it had some scratches and stuff like that but it's not a big deal. I need to figure out what happened with the ESC. I'm going to uh, calibrate it. Maybe that was the problem. I'm not sure. Or maybe it was overheated. Not sure yet. So I'm going to figure out what happened with that. And I need to do some fixes. And maybe in the future I'm going to use a different airplane for more FPV flying. Like a wing or something like that. But it was uh, quite good. Uh, I haven't done uh, like a long range yet with airplanes like this but I'm really excited. Also, I'm going to use a fly controller in the future, in a future video, and I'm going to flash a beta fly or whatever firmware you like, and you can just uh, choose the option of fixed wings aircraft to make a stable flight and have more functions on it. 
With a flight controller, you can put a GPS and more stuff in there. You can also use the, the on-screen display for your camera. So you have uh, the, the horizon and the speed maybe if you have you know, the proper sensors and everything. But yeah, that's, that's gonna be more complicated. So I'm gonna try and do that in uh, future videos. So stay tuned for that. For now, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next project.